hi everyone welcome back to another video if you're new here i want to give you a warm welcome and if you're my regular supporter you know how much i appreciate you let's make some soft and flaky roti so here in my bowl i'm going in with two cups of flour some salt some baking powder and i will leave a full recipe in the description below i'm not going to use my spatula just to evenly distribute the ingredients and then we're going to go in with some water gradually some lukewarm water yes until we form a dough ball Now that that is done, you want to go ahead and cover and rest for 30 minutes. So after 30 minutes, we are now going to go ahead and separate our dough into 5 pieces. So we're now going to go ahead and form these into a ball. Onto a clean surface you want to dust on some flour and we're going to go ahead and roll our dough into a flat circular shape. It don't have to be perfect but as circular as possible if you know what I mean. So now that that is done, here I have some oil with some melted butter and I'm going to go ahead and spread it on then I show you what I do next. So I'm now going to take a knife and put a cut from the middle to the end there and then we're going to form a cone. So you just want to take that last piece and just tuck it in and keep on tucking. Yes, it's not hard. It's very easy to follow. If I can do it, you can do it too. And at the end there, you just want to poke it in. And then we're going to let them sit for about 20 minutes. Cover and sit for 20 minutes. So after 20 minutes, we're now going to go ahead and roll again. We're going to roll in a circular shape, as circular as possible and as thin as possible. It don't have to be perfect, but try your best. So this is how you want your dough, something looking like this, as circular as possible and as thin as possible. So here I have a skillet which I already greased and you want to have your stove on low heat because you don't want your roti to burn and then it's not cooked. 
and you're gonna let your roti go for about a minute on each side and as soon as it starts to form some bubbles you're gonna go ahead and oil your roti Now it's time to flip that roti on the other side and we're going to also oil this side. And I like my roti with a little brown speck but if you don't like it with the brown speck, you could just flip it just before the minute. I do a minute on each side. So we're now going to remove that roti and then we're going to clap the roti. I'm not a professional at clapping the roti, but this is how I do it. Cover and shake, shake, shake. And there we have it, some soft, flaky and delicious roti. Guys, you will absolutely, absolutely love this recipe. Look at those flakes. Guys, you should definitely give the recipe a try. And when you do, I'd love to hear back from you. If you like what you see, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Remember to share with your friends and family. And if you haven't yet subscribed, subscribe for some more awesome recipes. And this is my finished product. Quick and easy. So I did serve up my roti with some coconut curry chickpea and I will leave a link in the description below for that coconut curry chickpea and I'm telling you the combination of the roti and the coconut curry chickpea was fantastic. Guys enjoy the recipe. Thank you so much for watching. See you in another one. Bye for now.